Hi everybody, Technical Linux here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Peppermint OS 6 into VirtualBox and configure it correctly how it is supposed to be configured. So first of all you want to download your Peppermint 6 i386 ISO image. This is the 32-bit version because it's i386 and then what you want to do is go into VirtualBox because we're going to install it to VirtualBox and VirtualBox loads and then we're going to right click or we're not going to right click we're going to go to new machine then type in uh, Peppermint OS Peppermint OS 6 Linux and Debian next I'm going to give it 2 gig of memory and then dynamically allocating hard drive and push that up to 10 gigabytes so as you can see I'm on the Vista PC here running absolutely perfectly great PC this like it a lot go into your settings now on your virtual machine a lot of my videos is going to be done on Windows now because I don't um, install Linux as much as I used to because I installed Windows XP to a machine and Vista to this machine. Now this is the important bit. So you've got to put the video memory up to full. That's the normal thing that you do. Uh, enable 3D acceleration. Processor PAE slash NX. Otherwise it won't work. And then go into storage. Click on empty the IDE secondary master controller. Going to choose vertical virtual optical disk file or whatever it said, uh, and then go on to desktop. Find your ISO image. That's the ISO image for me. Okay, that. And then start up the machine. This should start. Peppermint OS. It will start sometime in the next 50 years. There we go. Right. This PC is. Mm, it's fast, but not when you load in VirtualBox because it only runs 2 gig around when you open VirtualBox because you give 2 gig to the machine. Right, Peppermint OS. Okay, you want to tab down to install Peppermint OS. It's going to let us install that. I've been doing a lot of work on my Windows XP box actually at the moment, getting all the updates as you can see on the desktop here, the Service Pack 3. Even though it isn't supported anymore, I want to keep it going as long as possible. Actually, I'll put a link in the description to Windows Help Guy and Linux Help Guy and Puppy Linux World because he has been doing a lot of videos on XP recently, trying to keep XP alive. So you should go and check out over there I'm using Windows XP as well because I want to keep Windows XP going so this video is actually going to be done in two parts so the virtual bot's completely up and running not installed and then the second part is the installation and configuration So when we get to the desktop, I shall stop the video. Okay. So 
I'm gonna pause the video here and then when we're on the death foot, I'll play it again. Back again, you actually have to try uh, Peppermint OS so you can get to the desktop, but you can install it if you want to. I just reset the box and hit it again. Load up here. Back everybody. I'm actually going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, thumb the video up, and I'll see you next time for part two of this video. Goodbye.